Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for yet another adventure with our little lost drift town. As we started to build one of the row houses. Now we still need a lot of bricks for that. I don't think we have them yet. Nope. Only 800 and I believe we need like 4,000. Yeah, we need another 4,000. So uh, that's going to take some time. But for the rest, well, I think we have a nice looking farm here. And a nice looking town, of course. What's this? What is the issue here? Oh, only one worker. Well, that's because... um. Well, I actually don't know why that is. Because I don't think it has to do with seasonal hiring. Nope. It just needs to hire one extra person. But that should be okay soon enough. Now that we have 275 people. Of which 82 men and 87 women. Hiring people should not be that hard anymore. Depending on the number of jobs we create, of course. So, have to be a little bit careful with the job creation. Not to pound out too many jobs at one go. But still, I think if we just take the time to... Uh, to slowly grow, things should be fine. At least our two tanners are working. Do we already have a surplus of shoes? No... We have a surplus of clothes though, 1175, so that worked. And well, now that these houses get built, we get the extra workers in this area. Yep, this one already has the extra worker in now, so that also went okay. And we'll probably just have to continue growing bit by bit. And we can also grow by building a gazebo here for the people to sit and enjoy. As I think we should be working a little bit more on some more beautifications in this little town. Let's decorate it with a few trees so that people can still look outside. I think that'll be important, but um, just having the uh, place to sit is also a good thing. Let's place one here in the corner and then one in the middle. See, people immediately come there and start to sit. So there was a need for it. As well as I think there might be a need for some ash trees. We wanted this to be a nice and beautiful looking town. So we'll have to uh, put the effort in of course. Uh, that's not for there. Alright, so bit by bit we'll keep doing this. And then... Salt works doing a good job. The brick works. Got some bricks preparing for burning, forming the bricks. So yeah, they are busy with um, everything that has to do with the bricks. 1280. Are they already delivering some? Yeah, they are. So that's good. We get more and more bricks in there. But uh, all of this is not ready for a long time now. So we could be trying to get some other things done first. Like extra housing or whatever. But we'll have to choose, of course, what we're going to build. This is the industry, but here we have some space. Could just build a few houses without a garden at all here. We'll create a garden ourselves. But at least we'll have a few extra houses and we'll place them the other way. I'm just going to place a few houses here. One, two... Three and four. And we're going to give them a garden that we decide that we want them to have. This is too long. Okay, well, let's go all the way here and then continue onward like this. Okay, we'll do the same here. And then we can go from here all the way into the back. And do the same here. And now we've created houses with gardens, but we have to build the gardens ourselves. They won't be growing anything in it. But that's fine. We don't need them to grow anything in it. We can just put trees and bush in there. We have to give it a bit of variety. 
so not all the same. I do love the birch trees though, so they'll be in there that are quite hefty. I think they should all have different colors and things like it with the bushes. So that we also get some variety in there. And these just love trees. Alright. Well, at least this is a couple more houses that we can really use. But we need to keep up with the wells, otherwise we'll get short of drinking water. Yeah, this is better usage for this area. Now we have... Um, Less faulty areas where nothing is happening and we're just not using the space. We should have to keep things crammed up a bit. Although we're already up to 275 people in just this little bit of land. So there's plenty of space to keep growing. Ooh, look at the harvest. And look at all the different colors. Flax, buckwheat, flowers, potatoes. Oh, very nice, very nice. On to the harvest here too. I think, yeah, this farm can hire the most and then probably this one. And maybe this one can hire people from in here already. Yep. So that should be working out. How many bricks do we have now? 1800. We still need 4500 here. So still some work to be done there. Let's speed up a little bit. Another village house is done. That's this one. Whoa, that's good. Then a new family can come in because we now need a lot more people because of the harvest. And I guess it will be quite good to have a lot more people in for the harvest. Brickworks needs to keep working. Yeah, I think we can get the number down to two here in the off season. That should be fine. Messenger from Mereva. Do we need anything? Well, we can buy some weed. Just to keep the, uh, the mills going all the time. We have firewood, we have salt in there, we have an open one and iron metal parts and nails. So there is space for something else. Already storing the bricks here, so that's of no use. Could be interesting later on to... Uh, Find something that we can put in there. Ah, the apples. Ah, this brings in more apples. I think this should be up to... Um... No, the harvest is already done, so that's okay. We don't need more people in there. These are quite busy. Three farms so far. Ah, this one is hiring a good amount of people now. We're a month into the harvest now, and we can see that this farm is getting... Um quite far ahead with the whole harvest and then all those workers can go to the other farm so yeah we should be fine getting everything in in time but there's no guarantees of course we won't know if all those people will actually be hired by all the other places so we'll have to keep our eyes open for that as well as take a look at places right here so that they at least in the on season get as many people in as possible Yeah, this one is totally unable to hire people because of the houses are closer to the other farm, so they will be hiring first. This one is now ready to hire a lot of people too. Could be that this one, no, this one is also still hiring a lot. So that's good. More and more people came from their jobs to help out, as we can also see that we now have way less builders available. But that's okay. We can even do it here now. Um, so let's tell them in the off season to only have two. Which should be uh, September, March and October. Because then we won't have a lot of builders anyway. So there's not a lot of wood production needed in those year months. So why have them all in there? Another messenger from Merefa. We don't need it. 3,800 bricks. We all supposed to have enough to build the house. Let's move it up because I want to get it done. As we also need to move this up to get those done first before the next houses. All takes time, but it's worth it. 
There's no stone deposits to be reached, it said. So the question is, are there stone deposits on places where they can't go yet? I don't see any stones on this side of the shore. No, there's no stones here too. They can reach this island, so that should not be a problem. So I guess we're all out of stones already on this map. Yeah. Okay, well, it is what it is. No stones here. How much stone do we have? 8,000. That seems like a lot, but if we consider that this house will already need 900... Yeah, that goes pretty quickly with all that stone. We'll, we'll get rid of all the stones quickly. So we'll need to start buying stones soon if we can. But we also need to make money, of course. Oh, we do have 4,000 apples now. That's good. They will remain good for 18 months. So that's good. Don't get intimidated by the little bar icon. Because this is the average of all the apples stored in here. So it could well be that this is halfway over. And you think, oh well, that's quickly because it's right after the harvest. But then there's probably just a few apples left from the previous harvest. That's why uh, it will it, this will average out. So only those apples that are really actually getting spoiled will get out here. And then the bar moves up again. So this is an average. Not the exact number of the first apples to expire so it could well be that that this number will go down quickly well now because they are picked up but it will go down because some apples spoil and then all the others will remain good for very long that's very well possible ah the first house here is done nice and those are houses for people that really need to get food from the market because they can't grow anything themselves so we'll need to keep our eyes open for it. We can see that this is all filled up. So that's good. Lots and lots of food in there. So that's no worry. We still have plenty of place in the graveyard here. That's all working out. We don't need to concern ourselves with that. And yeah, this one is getting filled up again. This one is filled up too. So now a lot of constructions get going. And, well, we're going to finish our first row house. There we are. Two people got married straight away. So they'll live in there now. Means three more vacancies. Which could house new people. As we already have another batch of 1200 bricks ready. We're going to need 6000. So that might take a bit. But, uh, ooh, let's buy some stone here. Anything we want to sell at this point? I am not sure, but I don't think so. Do we have a lot of houses with honey? I don't see them. One of the things we could try is just get honey in here. And try to buy it from the locals. So we'll put this like up to 2000 and try to buy this from the locals. There it comes in. Um... Because if we actually manage to do that, we can sell it. But I don't think there's a lot of... I don't see a lot of these beehives standing in the garden. So I don't think there will be a lot of honey. At least it can be a, a pretty easy way to make some money. As a new family is settling in town. See, we have 31 in the export stock. That's not a lot. 32 actually. There is some honey incoming. Okay, so this house gets built now. Then another one, then another one. Well, that moves in the right direction. We actually have 300 shoes now. Ooh, that's good. And we have 19,000 buckwheat. I think we can start selling some buckwheat. Because we'll probably be producing a lot more than we need. Uh, if we take a look at the graphs, we can see the earlier years. And then we can see that last year... We stored 16,000 and we... Oh no, we produced 6,000 and we sold 2,900. So we overproduced quite a bit. So for now, let's put in some buckwheat in here. And maybe even some potatoes. How many do we have of those? 11,000. Let's check the potatoes too, just to make sure. Potatoes... Last year we produced 6,000 and we sold 3,000, 4,000. So yeah, we can put in 2,000 potatoes as well. 
As soon as we see that our population grows and we need more food, we can always take it out, no problem. Um, but for now, this will help to sell us some goods and make some money. Another family settling in town. They will live in their house. Here we have... Oh, we have a completely filled up apartment building. Luckily, there's a well here, so they should be able to get their water pretty close. They can get all their food close. We have 1,300 bricks still. Yeah, burning bricks, preparing for burning. Oh, they need more charcoal. Oh, there's charcoal in there. I think it might be good to get a few more charcoal piles here. So that we have actually a lot of charcoal available. Needs to remove two trees. No, I don't want to remove the trees. I just want more charcoal. Removing the trees, one left. We'll just get rid of this then. And let's see if we can place it so that we don't need more trees removed. Yes, perfect. Well, let's fill them up. Hopefully that gets done pretty quick, but hmm, not sure. This has everything it needs, so the next batch will be put in. 2,500 bricks now. Well, pretty impressive, this one standing row house, but um, maybe we need more. I want more. I think we should do it like this, so they will start moving the goods there. And then soon enough, we can switch it back again. But then at least all the goods are there for the production. That would be a nice thing. And now let's see what we should do next. How many nails do we have? 3,500. That's a lot of nails. So what I want to do is start preparing for the future. And at a certain point, I want to get across here. So we need to make road connections. Quite a lot, actually. So I want to build a bridge here, too. So that we have more road connections to going this way. And then we can start a little town here, maybe, at some point. Well, really, it's winter time now. All right, so we get row houses here. The thing is, what are we going to do with the row houses? Should we build a little batch here and then one here? Or should we go this way and this way? I'm not sure yet. I do know that we need more housing anyway to get all the industries up. In good enough numbers. So we all... Oh, we need a church. Cool. Let's build the church. 1,200 stone. That's quite a bit. Uh, we need to find a nice spot for the church, of course. Let's zoom out a bit. So here we have our town. We have not reserved a spot for the church. Um, I think this church should just go here then. We'll make a nice big area for the church. This will be the row house area, like this. So the church can just go next to it, no problem. We'll have to do some fencing here. Let's build a big arch in front of the church. In front of the church grounds that it's actually going to be. Um, oh, I clicked the arch, I guess. That's not supposed... I don't know what I clicked. I th thought I just clicked the fence. I probably hit the um, look for it icon. All right, there we go. Should be about this wide. We're going to make a really nice big area for the church. Put some graves there and things like that. Because I think they'll look lovely. And I think we really have to start decorating that area. A messenger from Dekachi. Now that's a nice messenger because that's usually the one that brings a lot of nice goods. And we can sell charcoal too. We can also sell him some buckwheat. Great. Apples, but we're not going to sell apples yet. Clothing, eh, not going to sell that. This should be fine. Iron. Let's buy another 250 now that we are starting to make some money here anyway. That should be it. Yeah. Okay. Then I think we should get a small arch in the back here. So the people from the other side of town, once we get that part, of course, can also get in here. All right. I think what we need to do is get rid of this part and this part. So that we can first... Make sure that this is somewhat straight as we want it to be. And then connect it. Yeah, now it's a bit too long. Well, 
should not be bothered by that. We should not get too picky about how straight things are. It's nice if things are not perfect. There we are. All right, the church grounds. We need to build a church now first because no new families can come in. And that is a slight problem. All right, we need to make this impressive. So I want to create some sort of a access path towards the church with big trees. I think that will be cool. Like this. Um, then we're going to need uh, some other trees in the area right here. Somewhat like this. Now we're just going to place some bushes here. Not precisely, just a little bit random. And then later on we'll do the back side of the uh, church grounds. I think there should be a few very old graves next to the church. Where people that are really important to the town get buried. Uh, I think we should do it at the back here, like this. One, two... Three, and on, on this side too. Can't uh, tell the people that they should get buried here first now. But I think I think an old church just has to have some uh, graves around them. Especially in the Netherlands, for instance, where I come from. That's, that's more natural. Even people get buried inside the church in the ground. So that would be cool to have a few people buried there. There they go. Just need some more goods, but the foundation with the stone is done. Also means that we'll have less stone, I guess. 7,000 now. And how far along are we with the bricks? Oh, we should get pretty close for building, finishing the next row house. That'll be nice. Sorry for the long silence. Had a big sneeze there. And here we go. Let's see what we can do with this nice church. A messenger from Balaklia. Let's buy some stone. Do we also need to buy lime? I think so. We're going to need it at some point, And we can sell some potatoes to them. Alright, deal. That's it. Perfect. We have 1300 flour. 17,000 buckwheat. But we'll lose a bit of that. And we have 8,000 potatoes. But we'll lose a bit of that. 500 shoes. Alright, so as soon as we start tanning again, we'll get more uh, pieces of shoes and clothing. Well, mainly shoes, of course, because clothing comes from the hemp and the flax. Let's see, we have one year old bull, another one year old bull, but that's it. This is nine month old bull. Alright, we'll not do that one then. And let's check here. We have only one one-year-old ram, but that's fine because they can reproduce from up to six months. We just let them become one year in order to make sure that uh, we get the full yield out of it. So this should be fine. And I want to keep going with this to make sure that we don't spoil any hides anymore. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the works up in trying to make sure that we slaughter animals every now and then. All right, here comes the church. Nice. All the trees get planted. I like it. Let's just take a little look at the church as it's getting built. All the resources are almost there, so there we go. Some nice music in the background. We see the carts from the traders going. Also very nice. Means we're making some money. comes another worker delivering some wood. There is more incoming, it says. Everything is incoming now. Good. So everybody that comes in now will just be building or delivering the resources. We can see plenty of people. He's going to the construction site, supplying, taking a rest, supplying, constructing. 
Most of them are still supplying or getting the carts back, but after that they should come here and start constructing. So yeah, we see more and more people coming in to do the actual construction and then we have a pretty nice church and we can grow our town again. We have no housing available at this point and almost no jobs, which is good. Um, we'll add a few jobs soon once the uh, church gets up and then of course we also get some extra housing. We have 1,700 bricks available to us now, so that should be okay. I, I love the fact that the scaffolding is up and that it grows with the building that we're doing. So right now they can walk on the first ground. Now we can see they put up this next level of scaffolding around it. And then they can get on there and then they can start to construct the uh, the next piece of the church. I love that. That is so nice. And they're not using any wood for it. You can see that there's just work involved. That's the lowest bar. Uh, and now when they construct a church, they will put in the wood. So it's not like we use a lot of wood and they just throw it out once the church is done. They're not using any wood for it. It's just work that they have to do building the scaffolding and then... Later on, they'll have to remove it and, and bring it back to another building site, of course. But I like the fact how they model that in and how that works. That it's actually part of the building process. That's really well thought of. Alright, I'm going to speed it up a bit. Because I want to see the church done, of course. And, well, we're only halfway there now. So it is quite the works. Lovely work, though. But it is quite the works. There we go. Look at the different roofing parts. Here comes the little bell tower. Parts of the roof come up. Now it's getting fast. Now the outside has to be built. The whole porch and things like that. There we go. Getting very close to the end. Quite a snowy church now, but that should be okay. And here we go. So they put the last roofing up and then all will be removed. Maybe they should also take some time to um, put the ooh people immediately start to go to church. They should maybe take the time to take down the scaffolding as well. I think that will be fun because they take the time to build it. Maybe they should also include time to take down the scaffolding. But that's just me. All right, here comes the next row house as they are bringing in a lot of new bricks as well. Hopefully we can get a good amount of families in. No jobs available at this point. But then the question is, can we put extra people in? In certain buildings, I think we can. There'll be two extra jobs here. These are all filled up, so that is good. And I think we could look for extra industries now. Or just put a few extra people in places like the Ashery and the Glassworks. Don't really need to fill them up. But just to create those extra little jobs. But having people available to, to start the um, sewing soon is also quite beneficial. So we should not go too wild on it. Just make sure that you have people available. We don't have a house available at this point, so we don't need to create too many jobs. And I wonder when things like the priest come in. Right now we don't have a priest. They sh still have to add that, but I hope they do. That should be so much fun if we can get priests into the uh, church and things like that. Maybe get a church tax. That would be interesting. 1700 bricks. I don't think we have them right now. But at least everything is being brought. Yeah, a lot's being brought and a lot's being put in. And then... Once the construction starts stalling, we'll just move up this house so they can continue with that. We can also see that the next orchard is coming up nicely. And what I would like to do is start beer production soon. And for that, we need a hop yard. So let's build... A nice and big hop yard next to it. So that we can start beer production soon. I think that would be interesting too. Again, a lot of trees need to be removed. 
place is occupied by what? Apparently we are crossing something. Uh, let's try again. The hop yard. No, this is the orchard. That's the wrong building. Place is occupied. Oh, there's a tree laying there. That's it, I guess, because there's nothing else that's being built here. So we'll probably just manage if we place it down anyway. But we'll try. Let's see. I guess we should not make this too big. It already says too long. Alright, there we go. A nice hop yard. That'll give them the perfect place to start removing some extra trees as well. We'll just have to wait until this one is done with the last tree removed. Yeah, we need more bricks. There it says it. So let's switch over to this one. As we wait for 1750 bricks. Ah, there's 350 just created. More and more incoming. They're burning the bricks. And they're preparing another batch for burning. Gathering raw materials for another one. So yeah, production is up. But uh, we'll have to wait. And now another... Sewing season will start quickly. The families bringing in water to these uh, production facilities. Burning bricks. It says it's done, but apparently nobody is there to, to take them out or to do the job. No, they're all going to work or already busy. Another thousand bricks ready. Perfect. I think we're almost there. Let's just finish this house and then get on with the next row house. But that will be for next episode. Because right now, this episode's already over with all the progression that we made. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.